Hi guys, so still continuing my week of everything pumpkin. We will be making high protein pumpkin donut holes. They will be healthy as always. So if you guys would like to learn how to make them, please keep watching. Hi guys, all right, so you're gonna start by adding one and a half cup of whole wheat flour and then two scoops of vanilla protein powder. And then one fourth of baking trivia and two tablespoons of light brown sugar. And then two teaspoons of baking powder. And three teaspoons of pumpkin spice. And one teaspoon of cinnamon. And half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. And then two eggs. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of pumpkin butter. And then one fourth cup of pumpkin filling. And then in a separate bowl, make sure you guys are preparing the sugar-free pudding mixture. I use cheesecake flavored sugar-free. And I mix it with the milk before adding into the mixture. You can use vanilla flavor you like as well. Just make sure it's sugar-free. And then in the supper bowl as well, add in the cream cheese. This is Greek yogurt cream cheese. I did this to kind of loosen it up and mix it up a little bit, and I added the milk to help loosen it, so when I didn't mix into the mixture, it wasn't as lumpy and easier to combine. And then it's ultimately going to be one cup of skim milk, but I did half and stirred, and the other half afterwards. It's just so much easier to batter and keeps it from getting all over the place. Yeah, this required a lot of stirring. If you guys have an electric mixer, please feel free to use it. I apparently like to make it hard on myself and did not use mine. And then a donut pan, which I got at Michael's. If you don't have a donut pan, just don't worry about it. You can use a small muffin pan. Just fill in the holes with it. Either way, it'll come out the same size. And then as that bakes on 350 for 13 minutes, you want to melt 3 tablespoons of light butter. And then in a separate bowl, add 1 fourth of sugar cane. And then 1 tablespoon of light brown sugar. And then 1 teaspoon of cinnamon. And then once they come out, you want to put the butter on top of them. And then roll them into the sugar mixture. Enjoy!